campaign and you've been pushing the envelope of doing what you do well at the BBC, but not shying away from some of those really difficult political issues. Like you were with us in London on Saturday and you were talking about fox hunting and badger culling and persecution of raptors and grouse shooting. And the media reaction to that was quite phenomenal because you were leading a debate and bringing lots of different NGOs and campaigners together. But the reaction of certain individuals to that at times, they come and say, well, you can't hold a position at the BBC. You can't, you know, breach that neutrality. But it all comes back down to standing up what is right, isn't it, when it comes to, for example, wildlife crime or persecution or bad science. And where do you sort of draw the line personally on those issues? Because you can't be impartial and forget those matters. But at the same time, are you... Are you trailblazing, would you say, for the next generation of broadcasters? Would you like to see more Chris Packhams come through the system? Uh, I don't I ever, ever want to see another Chris Packham. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to see younger, younger, more motivated, better able, better broadcasters than, than Chris Packham um, coming through, and, and lots of them. Um, I don't think I in any way do compromise my position. Uh, when I'm broadcasting and working for the BBC, I celebrate those BBC values, and, the, uh, and impartiality is, is a key part of that. Um, when we are making programmes such as Spring Watch, I, I, I don't and, and would not, even if given the opportunity, and there isn't an opportunity, but even if given it, would I uh, uh, opinionate, would I opine uh, about the Badger Carl and Fox hunting, so on and so forth? No, I wouldn't do that. That, that programme is not about that. It's not a platform for those sorts of concerns. You know, if I'm invited to go on to um, Newsnight or something like that, then a, I'm there in, as a, in a different capacity altogether. And I have a working protocol with the BBC which sees me protecting that impartiality and the BBC protecting its reputation. Obviously, those which don't like voices like mine being heard will do everything they can to try and uh, stop them being heard. And as a consequence of that, they const constantly challenge my ability to play both of these roles. But one thing that's worth considering is that um, the reason that I'm able and, and fortunate to have my job at the BBC is because I'm employed upon the basis of my, and forgive me, uh, my expertise. And I say that with utmost modesty. Um, you know, if we, that's what the BBC has a long tradition of. You know, it, it comes back to what I was saying at the very outset about trust. You know, in order to, for people to trust, you know, who they listen to, who they believe, then they, you have to tell them the truth. And the, the fact of the matter is that, you know, if we watch a cookery programme or a gardening programme or a history programme, we, we want to hear gardeners and cooks and historians, because these are the people who we know have the capacity to tell us the truth. And there's no difference within the wildlife uh, 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 programme uh, arena either. It's only appropriate that zoologists and ecologists and animal behaviourists so on and so forth are employed in that arena. And that's why I have my job because that's the background that I've come from. I don't have my job there because I'm a campaigner. I have my job because I studied and, and have a passion for those things and I hopefully develop an ability to communicate them to others. So, no, I don't think there is an incompatibility at all. I, I carefully protect that. I constantly communicate with the BBC um, and I find means of, you know, uh, voicing what, what I feel a, a, a need to do um, in, on other media, and that's why we're, you know, you'll see if you come tomorrow, we're talking about how we've evolved those platforms, and we haven't got as far as we can get yet, um, to, so that we can share our ideas with like-minded people effectively and very quickly, um, and with enormous energy and with a direction, and that's what we, uh, that's what I, I, I want to do. Most important um, to me is that I have a small opportunity to make a small difference, and I have to exercise that. And that comes back to the fact that we, as humans, have a conscience. And, you know, as much as I don't want to die, I don't want other things to die too. And, as a, and that's what compels me to get up in the morning and try to, to make that, that difference. So I think that um, as long as I you know, continue to behave myself, <laughs> and, and, and I don't find that a challenge because I, I do think that the, the BBC holds very virtuous I mean, it's one of the last great brands in Britain to be honest and we should do everything we can to protect it um, then, um, then I, I shouldn't you know, compromise position, my position or theirs and I certainly won't be goaded by the likes of some of our adversaries because I'm tweet proof thank you <laughs>
Merry, Merry Colors.